Scott's Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video I finish off making this screwdriver which I started when I was an apprentice. All I need to do is machine the screwdriver flats on these two and on this one I'm making the Phillips head screwdriver so we'll use the milling machine and the lathe to form the head of the screwdriver. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. I was looking at this the other day and this is a screwdriver or partially completed screwdriver I made when I was an apprentice. The body is aluminium with a steel end cap with a square hole in it. This part that holds the blades is steel with the thread in the end that goes inside and the blades are just steel with a screw thread on, a square and it looks like partly finished or part done screwdriver flat. The idea is that goes into the square, the handle screws in behind and then pulls the blade in, stops it turning. So what I want to do is first of all give all this a good clean up and then machine the screwdriver flat here. See that's far too thick. This one is another one, just wants finishing off, it's nearly there, just wants tidying up, cleaning up. And this is a blank one, and what I thought I'd do is have a go at making the Phillips type screwdriver head. So first of all we'll go to the lathe and clean these up. Let's start with the screwdriver handle. I'm taking a strip of wood so I can support the emery cloth. This strip holds the emery cloth in position and allows me to put more pressure on the emery. looks a bit better. Turning is not very good on this. The finish is not too bad but it looks as if I've dug the tool in there at some time when I was making it. Let's try this piece. All I want to do on here is the outside part. It's had a few bashes by the look of it. 
See if I can get some of those marks out. Some of them are a bit too deep, but it looks a bit better than it did. Finally, I'll do this, uh, this screwdriver blade, hold it on the thread lightly. I've just finished the other two off, then I'll go to the milling machine. The reason why I use backing stick when I'm using emery cloth is I can get more pressure onto the workpiece. I can use the emery cloth right up to the end. The other advantage is it gives you a flat back because when you're using your fingers, you have the curve of your fingers. This gives you a flat surface so you can use the whole width of the emery. That'll do for now. We'll go over to the milling machine and then mill the screwdriver flats. I've held the screwdriver blade in a collet which is in a square block in the vise and I've used the existing surface to set the screwdriver parallel, it's about 5 thou out that way and then across that way, it's only a few thou. So that will be ready for machining. And what I'll do is use an end mill just to machine that flat properly and then turn it over and do the other side.
And I think I'll leave it at that. What I'll do now is just square the end off. This fits in there. And we should tighten the end down, it pulls the, the blade in. That's the first one done. Okay, now I want to make the Phillips type screwdriver head and to do that I need to cut four slots on the end of the screwdriver. One that forms an L shape there, one that forms one that side. So I'm left with four strips, one millimetre wide all the way around and then it needs to go in a lathe and put a taper on the front. For those that are interested this is how I calculated the milling operations. The diameter of the bar is 6.25 and what we want is to take out this area on the four sides so it leaves us a one millimetre piece that will fit into a screw slot. So that meant, once you know the outside, just touch the tool on the outside, move it in 2.625, move it down 2.625, and that's the section you mill out. And then, because it's on a block, you can turn it around in the vise and use exactly the same settings for the four sections. So the first thing to do is go down to the depth of the strip, which is... I've touched on the top of the bar. The bar is a 6.25mm diameter and I need to go 2.625 deep and 2.625 in. This cut is 1.5 both ways. Take that out. Make it 1.8 both ways.
Now I've turned the block round 90 degrees and I'll do the same again on the next side. You can see now I've formed the first lip. So now turn the block round again. Back in. I'm using the nut to locate up against the face of the jaw to give me the depth. You can see the pattern forming now of each. Now you can see the formation of the star for the Phillips. These should be a millimetre wide. Now that's been machined all the way around. It gives me the four locations. So now all I need to do is put in a lathe and form the point on it. I'll set the compound slide to about 28 degrees and I'm just going to put a chamfer on the end of that using the compound slide. That fits on the end and holds OK. Well that's the three screwdriver blades completed. And that finishes the job that started when I was an apprentice. Oh well, that's it for today. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time on E-Nots Engineering. Mm -hmm.